Part of transformation and change is letting go. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing three things that I believe if you let go of God willing, your life will transform and change for the better. So let's begin. Now, the first thing to let go of is to pick one negative emotion and let go of it. One em negative emotion that's not working for you, that's not creating happiness, that's not creating inner peace, and that's not creating joy and decide to let go of it. Let me just give an overview of emotions. So in general, okay, in life, we have, there's two sets of emotions, okay? There's positive emotions and there's negative emotions. Positive emotions are things like joy, gratitude, love, awe, inspiration, hope. Negative emotions are things like fear, anger, disgust, sadness, annoyance, loneliness. And there's always gonna be a majority. So throughout the day, you'll probably experience either the majority of your emotions are gonna be negative with a few positive ones, or the majority are gonna be positive with a few negative ones. Why? Because emotions, they hold hands with one another. So for instance, if I'm experiencing joy, I'm probably gonna experience gratitude. I'm probably gonna experience love as well because it's like a dominoes effect. It's the same thing with the negative emotions. So to, you know, if you want to transform and create a better life for yourself, God willing, a good place to start is to start you know, decreasing those negative emotions, eliminating them one by one. The less negative emotions you have, the happier you'll be, God willing. And you could say, for instance, I, I could say to you, for instance, you know what? let go of all negative emotions. It doesn't work, that's too difficult, that's too difficult. I'm all into baby steps, one emotion at a time. So so let's say for instance, choose one negative emotion, one emotion that you really don't want to feel anymore. You've tried, you've tested it, it doesn't make you feel good, it doesn't make you happy, it's not benefiting you, it's not improving your life in any way, and just decide to let go of it. So for instance, decide to let go of sadness, and it's just a decision. You know what? I don't want to be sad anymore. I don't want to experience, I don't want to feel sadness anymore. And then ask yourself, so if I let go of sadness, yes, what would my life look like without sadness? Probably very happy probably very happy. So that's the first thing to do is to define what emotion, the negative emotion that you're going to let go of with the intention of God willing, improving your life, with the intention of, I want to be happy in my life. I want a better life, God willing. Okay, so decide what negative emotion you want to let go of that's not working for you. And then actually sit down and reflect on what would my life look like without this emotion? Okay, and write it down. And like I said, let's say for instance, it was happy. It would probably, you'll probably, with sadness, probably have a very happy life. And then whenever you let go of something, you always have to let something else in. You can't just let go of something and then not replace it with something else. It always has to be replaced. Or Because if you let go of sadness and then you don't define what you want to let in, what you're going to replace it with, then you may you may replace it with another negative emotion. So define that you want to, uh, the negative emotion that you want to let go of. Let's say sadness, and then replace it with a positive emotion that you want to feel. So joy, gratitude, love, or inspiration. See, you always have to replace it. So I want to let go of sadness, and in sadness place, I'm going to God willing um, um, replace it with gratitude. It's that simple. Okay, so then how do you, so you've decided to do that. You've decided to let go, you're gonna let go of, of sadness because you've already written down what your life is gonna look like without sadness. Very nice, okay? And now you, you, you've, also, you've also acknowledged that, well, if I let, let it go, I've got to actually define what I'm gonna replace it with or another a negative emotion will just come in. So I'm gonna replace it with gratitude. So this is what you do. You don't want sadness in your life, so that means any time a sad thought comes into your mind, yes, a sad thought, because your emotions, how are your emotions created? Your emotions are created through your thoughts, create your emotions, right? So any time a sad thought comes in your mind, you say to yourself, well, you know what? If I interact with this thought, or if I believe this thought, this sad thought, then it's gonna create a sad emotion, and I, I don't want to feel sad, so I'm just gonna replace that sad thought with a thought of, gratitude. 
okay? Because you chose gratitude, you remember? You chose the emotion gra gratitude to replace it. Um, and so, and then, so that's your thoughts then. And then you, 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 what you'll do is you'll say to yourself, well, also, I don't want to do things that are going to make me sad. So I'm not going to watch sad movies anymore. I'm not going to start watching. I'm going to start watching happy movies. But if I watch the, if I watch this movie, I'm going to feel I'm going to be in a state of gratitude. Okay, I'm not going to hang around people that are going to make me sad anymore. I'm going to do my best to hang around people that will will put me in a state of gratitude and that I'll feel happy around. So you consciously, you consciously now that you because you've made the decision to let go of sadness, you you. you you made a decision to let go of sadness. You've consciously chosen that you want to put another emotion in its place, gratitude, let's say, for instance. Then anytime you get a sad thought, yes, because you've consciously chosen to let go of sadness in your life, yes, you replace it. You say, I'm not going to believe it. I'm not going to interact with it. I'm going to replace it with a thought of gratitude or a happy thought. Okay, and then you, you you start to reflect on the people that you interact with and you decide to actually interact with people that bring you joy rather than sadness. You don't want sadness in your life suit. So, so you're just gonna stop for the next month to see, to, to, to see how life is without sadness. Stop mixing with people or talking with people that are gonna bring sadness into, into your life. And then the next thing is, for instance, start taking action that Stop taking, stop doing things that make you sad. Start doing things that make you happy. God willing, God willing. So that's the first thing. The first thing is to let go of one emotion, yes, and negative emotion and replace it with a positive emotion. The second thing is letting go of past hurts. Now, have any of you ever something has something happened over over uh, over and over again in your life or has somebody in your life hurt you and then hurt and then you think that you've you know you've let go of what that person did and uh and then that person hurt you again and then it happened again it happened again well most probably is because what's happened is that you actually thought that you you let go of the past hurts but when that person hurt you again, if you sat down and you remembered everything he or she did in the past, that means that you've not let go of past hurts. And it's really important to let go of past hurts. And I'll tell you why. It's because once you let go of past hurts for, for once and for all, yes, you say, you know what? I don't want this hurt to be in my body. This person hurt me, yes. This person hurt me, upset me, whatever. This this is in my body. I don't want that in my body anymore. I don't want that in my subconscious anymore. I'm letting go of it. And once you let go of it, once and for all, then you close the door, yes, to that person coming into your life and hurting you again. As, as long as it's still in there, then you still open that door. Even though, even though you've said, for instance, you know, I'm not gonna let that person upset me or, or hurt me again. If, if the hurt is still in there, you, the door is still open. But once you get it out of your body, that means you've, you've closed the door. That's it, I'm not having you in. There's no, there's, there's nothing inside me anymore. It's gone. I've learned from the, I've, I've learned, I don't condone what you've done, but I've learned from it and I'm over it. And I love myself enough to move on. It's out and so are you. That's it. It's not going to happen again. I'm not going to let it happen again. How? Because you're not here, you're not in here anymore. You're not in here, in here anymore. So it's really important to let go of past hurts. Not because you condone what the other person has done. No, it's just because you love yourself enough to not to, 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 to say that I've learned from the lesson, yes, and I, I don't want it. I don't want to keep it in my body anymore. I want it out, that's it. I want to move on and, I, and I'm not going to allow this to happen again. So that's the second thing. Now, the third thing to let go of is to let go of not loving yourself. Not lo letting go of not loving yourself and not making your life your number one priority. And it's really important. Like you just have to let go of not loving yourself because you are the most important person in your world. And when there's an absence of love, yes, when there's an absence of love, 
um, all kinds of negative emotions come in to, to your existence and weakness comes into your existence. When there is, when love is present, then love brings strength, love brings positive emotions, love brings happiness, love brings wisdom. So the most logical thing is, is that because you're, you're living, you're, you're not going to be living with anybody more than you're going to be living with yourself, is that you have to be in a state of love. You have to really love, honour and respect yourself and make your life your number one priority. Because I promise you, I promise you, if you don't make your life your number one priority, yes, nobody else will. Nobody else will. And it's not selfish at all. It's not being vain. It's not being selfish. On the contrary, if you take the time to love yourself and to look after yourself, yes, then you put yourself in a, in a, in a vibration of strength and in, in, you're, you're strong and you can help and love everybody else around you. You're, you, you you're actually better, you're, you're better in society when you actually love yourself and you make your life your number one priority because that's it, you're in control of your game. You're not dependent on anybody and you can actually use that strength to help society, to help communities, to help people. Okay, so it's really, really, really important. And so those are the three things that I believe that if you let go of, God willing, then it, they, they are life changing. Let's just do a recap. Number one, pick one negative emotion. One negative emotion that's not working for you, that's not working in your favor, that's not creating happiness and joy, and let go of it and replace it with one positive one. The second thing is let go of past hurts because if you keep them in, then, then the hurts are just gonna keep on coming back, but with maybe, Maybe the same faces um, or, or, or different faces. It's just that whoever upset you or hurt you, you've learned from it. You don't condone it. You've learned from it. You've learned from it. But they really don't deserve to be in there. And they don't deserve to come back and to upset you or to hurt you more. This is Your life is very, very, very precious. And the third thing is let go of not loving yourself and not making your life um, your number one priority. Like I said, your life is precious. And if you don't make your life your number one priority, I promise you nobody else will. I love you loads. Have a brilliant, beautiful, absolutely amazing day. Thank you for watching this video. And I will see you in the next video.